How you doing? I'm Sammy. Today's April 1st. This is going to be your month of April. Uh, what to expect. Quickie for all signs. How's everybody doing? It's April Fool's Day. Make sure that you say rabbit rabbit for good luck today. everyone make sure you watch the collective at the end okay this is going to be time stamped anyways so the energy is changing a bit feels like things are shifting out of fear and paranoia into uh, more of a sovereign freedom fighter taking a stance there's more and more lawsuits being filed around the world every day. So that's exciting. This will be posted here on YT and also on Patreon. I'm also posting another video on, on BitChute and Patreon. So make sure you check that out because that would not be allowed here. Queen of Wands. Okay, let's start with Capricorn. It's just going to be a real quickie, like two, three cards. Two, three cards of the tarot and then we'll do a moon and a situation and a, a rebel deck. Please like and subscribe and check out my Patreon or BitChute channels if you would like. Okay, Spirit. Please give us clear interpretation of these cards for Capricorn for the month of April. Show us what we need to see for Capricorn. For the month of April, what can Capricorn expect this month of April? King of Wands. Okay, so this could be a male figure in your life. doesn't have to be. This could be you. But King of Wands is very passionate and adventurous and knows what he wants and goes after what he wants. This represents fire. So this could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. This could also just represent you standing for what you believe in, standing in your power, going after what you want, not taking no for an answer. Um, very passionate, very fiery, action-oriented, uh, and ambitious. We still have you uh, with some negative thoughts here. So, Eight of Swords is in your head, feeling trapped or wanting more freedom. Um, so this could really be pushing this fire that you have this month. Um, if you do feel trapped, it's all in your head. So get out of your head. Make sure you're not going in there with all these negative thoughts and constant um, with the bashing of yourself and your situation in your mind because that makes things way worse. Uh, and that's what this card is all about is that you could walk away, you could open your eyes, you could leave at any time. But it's you keeping yourself trapped. Tell me more about Capricorn. So you could be moving forward on a creative project. Um, but this is leaning towards and looking more towards Ten of Cups, which is emotional fulfillment. So if that's a career for you, then that's what you're working on. If it's a family um, relation type, uh, relationship type thing, then that's what you're working on. If it's... Um, career, wanting to make more money, or buying a new house, whatever it is that's going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled, creative projects, any of that. The only thing hindering you this month is going to be yourself, your own negative thoughts. So let's ask with the moon cards, tell me about Capricorn this month. Okay, believe in the impossible. Believe in the impossible this month. And it has a blue moon. 
So, you know, like it's rare, but not impossible. So whatever this is that you're wanting, if this is what's bringing you emotional fulfillment, I see you finding that this month. As long as you can really focus on positive thinking, get out of your headspace. Realization, awareness, finding out, coming to light. So something could be coming out this month, um, or you just have an epiphany, something turns on, and, and it, it allows you to move forward, push forward towards this passion project, adventure, whatever this is that you're wanting and a new awareness and this really brings in this emotional fulfillment and happiness for you let's see what rebel deck has to say to capricorn for the month of april tell me about capricorn for the month of april whoa 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 Okay, I'm going to get these. We'll read three. Okay, these won't resonate for everyone. Take what does. You don't know yet because this is for the month ahead. So we'll see. Drop the effing ego. Vulnerability is hot AF. Okay, so allow yourself to be vulnerable. Don't let pride get in your way. Get the F out of your head. What did we just talk about? Right? Get out of your head with this negative thinking. Get into your heart. It misses you. Okay? So if you need to do some meditation, where you drop down in there, and you just see that heart chakra spinning, and if there's two little doors that open, that's what I do. <sighs> and then you're living from the heart space. Very warm, compassionate feeling. And just pure joy. Really focus on getting out of your head. Okay, and you do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. It never does. We know that. You know that, Capricorn. All right, so you're gonna have a great month ahead. I will see you guys soon for the new moon readings. If you want to, where do these go? <laughs> if you want to join as a patron on Patreon, I will be doing love, finance, uh, and full moon or end of the month readings on there as well that I won't be posting here on YT. So you can go to Patreon uh, slash patreon.com slash Sammy Infinite, one word, Sammy Infinite, and that will be there if you want those extra readings. Okay, and the more people we get over there, then the more I can do um, more individual signs and get more in-depth and more detailed readings over there. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Aquarius. These jumped out. We have seven of pinnacles, okay, which is an investment. It could be investing in yourself or investing in a project, investing money, literal money in an investment. Um, but you haven't seen the rewards yet, but you will be victorious. Here we have six of wands, which is like homecoming, happiness, could be a wedding, um, or, or just victory. It means success. So whatever it is you've been investing in or thinking about investing in this month, the harder you work, the more effort you put in, the greater your success. Tell me about Aquarius this month of April. What can Aquarius expect this month in April? Okay, so Seven of Pentacles means you've been putting in effort, but you haven't really reaped any rewards yet. It's not ready yet. Okay. But this is the promise. You keep working hard and it's going to pay off. You keep putting in the effort in this thing or money into this thing or whatever it is. And we have Queen of Wands. So this month you will be feeling more confident, feeling better about yourself, 
um, feeling more warm and vibrant, feeling more in your own energy, uh, unafraid to be you and authentic. Queen of Wands is pretty hot, passionate, fiery, romantic, so you could be um, entering a new, more passionate phase as far as romantically in a relationship or finding a new relationship. Hierophant on the bottom is marriage. So just saying some of you may be finding the one this month. You may be deciding the one you're with is the one this month. We do have this six of wands as a wedding card and then we have the Hierophant. So for some of you, that's what it is. Let's get a moon card for Aquarius for the month of April, please, Spirit. Aquarius, thank you. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. So some of you may have cancer in your chart. Okay, but whatever issue, personal issue that you've been having, seems like you're going to figure it out. And I think you will. We have this success and then we have this boost of confidence and passion that comes in later in the month. So that's really good for you. Situations card. Blood ties, family, inner circle. So you may be going through something with your family. Uh, with your parents or your children this month. We also have entrapment, pregnancy, money, and heartstrings. So for some of you, you may be feeling trapped. For others of you, it's possible you're going to get pregnant this month and end up getting married or vice versa, wanting to get married and then um, you find out you're pregnant. Uh, if that's not the case for you, some of you are feeling more dedicated to your family um, or maybe feeling like you want more freedom away from your family. You know, feeling um, more obligated to family this month. So you may be taking care of someone who's sick. You may have to help with finances this month with family. Get some effing sleep, Aquarius. You're being an ass because you're effing tired. Face to pillow now. <laughs> That's funny because Capricorn, like three cards jumped out and you guys just got this one. So do not push yourself. Do not work so hard that you're exhausted. Okay, when you need to rest, rest, please. For your own sake. Thank you. Let's jump to Pisces. Spirit. Quickie, what to expect for the month of April for the sign of Pisces. Okay. We have three of pinnacles, which is collaboration, community, working together, teamwork, starting a new project. For some of you, it's building a new house. For some of you, it's like architecture, new plans, remodeling. You want to remodel the house, the bathroom, etc. Okay, um, for others of you, this could be starting a business, getting together with a friend who ends up being a business partner type deal, or starting a business within the family. This could also be volunteer work, any way that you get involved in the community or collaborate with a friend in order to boost yourself towards the future. We do have the devil here. So this energy is about kind of feeling stuck or trapped, um, lack of freedom, okay, feeling uh, in this picture they're shackled. So it could be wanting more freedom. This also represents, uh, can represent doing things in excess, like drinking, um, going too hard on a diet, going too hard at the gym. It's like when you just can't do it in moderation. This could be drug use, substance abuse, alcohol abuse. Um, and it also 
represents Capricorn energy. So this could just be um, that you're going to dedicate a lot of hard work and effort to this collaboration. Okay, or put this collaboration first. It could be overworking, um, like where you're working too hard at this thing. Um, but I'm feeling more like you're just dedicated, you're finally becoming dedicated to the point where you're very disciplined. And so maybe in one sense you do feel trapped. Um, or like obligated to this thing, to this collaboration, this team, or, or this community work, whatever it is that you're pushing for. Let's get one more. Tell me about Pisces this month. April for Pisces. I have fun. Commitment, exactly. So that's what I'm feeling this is. Is you really buckling down and committing to something. This could be a relationship. It's, it's about building together with someone or a team or, you know, in your career you could be moving up. But this is really committing to the, to the hard work and the effort that it's going to take for this collaboration this month. Okay, and um, for some of you, you will need to be careful. Pisces always needs to be careful with substance abuse, drinking, the one, the one and need to escape. Right, so be careful with that. Hierophant can also mean marriage, um, but to me, it just really feels like commitment. Also, Hierophant can mean higher, higher learning, higher knowledge, going back to school, putting in more effort that way. Perhaps you need to relearn some things, get a certificate, um, that sort of thing where you're, you're delving deeper into this project or whatever skill set you need for this to work. So seems like you're going to be working hard, building with someone. This is like setting the stage for something. Um, building a structure or laying a foundation with others. And it seems like you're dedicated to it and you're going to commit to this thing, which is really great. Tell me about Pisces this month. Thank you. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. So... Good things will come of this. You may feel like things just flow for you this month. You may feel like money's not a problem this month. Um, and you may feel like you have this extra energy to put in this extra effort. And uh, it's going to work out to where you want to. Okay. Focused. Exactly. Thank you, Spirit. Eyes for you. So someone may have eyes for you. Someone may be focused on you. Or you may have eyes for someone else, focused on someone, or just focused really on this project um, or this business idea or whatever this is that you're working on. Fascinated and watching. So, someone could be focused on you, watching you, observing you, fascinated by you, or you could be really getting deep into this thing and fascinated with it. This could be a relationship. Um, with a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. Hierophant is Taurus. And then we have an, another Earth sign here with the Three of Pentacles. So that could be uh, Capricorn. So Virgo or Taurus. It's just a lot of Earth energy here. So to me, this is you being grounded and buckling down. But do you have the Hierophant, which could mean marriage? Um, or just a higher, stronger commitment. So, you're very focused on this thing, or somebody is very focused on you. Have you eaten? You're acting like a big ass baby. <laughs> you need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. Okay? It's not me, it's the Rebel Deck. And I love these cards. So, maybe you're being too harsh with yourself. Maybe you're going hard on a diet. Um, and that can be difficult, you know, for some people. That's like Virgo type energy, where they go super hard with something to the point where it's harmful. Um, so make sure you're eating, make sure you're getting rest, listen to your body. Um, I understand you're very focused or someone's very focused or this thing has got you wrapped up in it, uh, whatever you're committing to, but, uh, you still gotta eat. Alright, Pisces? Okay. Aries, please. 
Spirit Aries for the month of April. Aries for the month of April, please. Tell me about. Thank you. Aries this month. We have three of cups. This could be partying, being more social, drinking, uh, gossiping, just engaging socially with others. It could be that you're dealing with um, gossip, whether you're gossiping or someone's talking about you. Um, but three of cups is normally pretty, pretty much like celebration. Okay, we also have hermit in reverse. So this is coming out of isolation, coming out of your home, spending more time with others, um, going out more, uh, meeting new people. And we also have Queen of Cups. So you could be meeting a female. It doesn't have to be female. Um, this could also represent you. But Queen of Cups is very loving and compassionate. Um, she's very open emotionally. And um, this is just a very loving person. Um, and emotionally understanding and and I would say trustworthy. Okay, so it seems like you're getting out there, you're spending more time with friends, coming out of isolation, and so either this opens you up emotionally to someone, you may meet someone new this month, or this is just you um, allowing yourself to feel more emotionally and just being happy and more fulfilled okay and it seems like this is by either meeting new people or just celebrating with friends so there could be a party this month something you're looking forward to i know a lot of families are getting together for easter um parties graduation type thing you know weddings prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus so your money looks good this month Seems like your friends look good this month. You're gonna have a lot more social interaction and it looks like you'll be emotionally fulfilled as well. So that looks really good, Aries. Tell me about Aries this month, month of April. Tell me about Aries. Roller coaster. Highest highs and adrenaline rush. So yeah, you may meet someone new this month. Um, and it gets you going. Gets your heart pumping. Uh, gets your, your heart beating and your blood pumping. <laughs> That's what I meant. And it may just be a roller coaster of emotions. Just in an exciting way. And sometimes prosperity can mean many things. Uh, if you're prosperous, it just means like all all things in your life are going well. So that could be love. Could be a lot of things. Tell me about Aries, please. Shame, regret, and guilt. Those are all just BS. Forgive and let that shit go. Okay. So whoever needs to hear that, there may be something you need to forgive, whether that's yourself or someone else. And you are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it. Okay, so don't give away your power. I also saw one in here while I was shuffling for you um, that said, get laid. That you need to get laid. <laughs> I don't know where it is now, but... I just saw it while I was shuffling and it made sense for you, especially if you're going out more and you find someone new, that sort of thing. You know, so maybe you'll find someone new and you'll really like that person. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Alright, well, good luck this month, Aries. If you would like more readings, you can check out the Patreon channel. Okay, I'll be posting more readings there. Also, the material that would not be allowed on YT is there as well. And you can find that on BitChute too. 
Okay, thank you. Let's go to Taurus. Taurus, please, for the month of April. Ooh. Let's see what we got here. Seems like you may be walking away from somebody from your past. Um, someone who could have broken your trust. This is like starting a new cycle. So we have the Seven of Swords here. This is could be a thief, could be a liar, someone who betrays you. Okay, In some sense, you don't trust this person. So it seems like you're walking away from that and you're moving into this new phase, this new cycle. So the world is completion. It's closure. So this could be a situation that happened a long time ago with the Six of Cups on the bottom. Someone from your childhood, someone uh, that you had a relationship with in the past. And it's like you're finally getting closure for that thing. It's like the cycle can finally close and you can move on. Let's look for one more. Anything else for Taurus for this month of April? Hmm, two more. The Magician and Soulmate. Uh, two of Cups. So this looks like you're moving away from a past relationship and you've finally gotten closure about it and now you're manifesting new love. You're manifesting a new soulmate. So whether that comes in for you this month or you're just working on it, manifesting it, Magician is about that life. Magician is serious about manifesting. You're calling it in. And if you want to do that, I suggest you write down everything you want in a soulmate. You may already know this person, but if you don't and you're just wanting to call in your soulmate, um, write down everything you want in a soulmate. Everything you want in a person, write it all down the very smallest detail okay and go over it a couple times a week or whatever in meditation that's a good way to manifest that so uh that's awesome let's see about your moon cards tell me about taurus this month april or taurus what can taurus expect this month this looks good because this is like healing from someone that didn't treat you good and it's like you're ready for the real thing. It seems like you're really working on it or you might even get it this month. You and your loved ones are safe. I don't know if you've been worried about something fearful lately, but you're safe. Your loved ones are safe. You don't need to worry. New moon and cancer could mean like you have cancer in your chart as well. Or you could be dealing with the cancer. Family. What? These same exact cards came up for Aquarius. Family, blood ties, inner circle. Wow. And entrapment, money, heartstrings, or pregnancy. That's crazy. They both came up for Aquarius just like that. So, um, like I told Aquarius, you could be feeling more obligated to family. Um, this talking about your loved ones, okay, you may be focused on your family, worried about your family this month, having to take care of them, um, blood is thicker than water type thing, putting your family first, um, or just, this says inner circle, so if you have an inner circle of friends, that mean the most to you in your life, you may just be getting closer to them this month. Also, we have entrapment, so um, some of you may feel stuck in certain ways if it comes down to finances, um, it says pregnancy, but it doesn't have to be the case. Um, you may know someone who's pregnant, getting pregnant. You may get pregnant or someone, um, your spouse or something. Um, or heartstrings. So you may feel trapped, tugged emotionally, uh, something that you can't let go. And that may be with family. Okay, if you need to forgive, do that uh, so that you can move forward. It's not bad to be obligated to family if you have to take care of someone this month or you have to be there for someone, you know, emotionally or financially. Then that's what you have to do. Tell me about Taurus. Yeah, right. Don't effing force it. Allow that shit to come to you. Yeah, I'm thinking that's this right here. This manifestation of this soulmate. So that means don't force anything. When something comes in and you... You know, there's people in this world that are like that. 
and they'll take the first thing that comes and think, oh, this is it. This is my soulmate. No, pay attention to red flags, okay? That's with everybody. Don't fall into a situation where you're trying to trust and you, you know, they keep breaking your trust and you just keep trying to deal with it. No, don't force it, okay? Allow it to come to you. And that's what I mean by calling it in. These are so many. I'm just going to read them because there's a lot of Taurus in the world and you may find them useful. Step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and spirulina taste like ass. <laughs> Eat some yummy shit. Bacon, chocolate, beer. Get some. That's what it says. It wasn't me. It's the rebel cards. So... Um, eat some good food. You do that anyways, Taurus. You know, you like food, so that's fine. Get the F outside. Move your ass. Your body is pissed at you. So some of you may have been stagnant. You may need to get in the gym. You may need to just be physical. Go out and pull some weeds, you know. Do something that's going to make you feel more active and get you, get your energy flowing. We got some money, okay? Money coming in this month looks really good for money. Make it rain. So, you got money, you're not forcing love, and it says stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person, just stop. Spend your time on someone who's worth it and don't waste it on ridiculousness. I feel like even if you're not texting someone from your past, this person that, that broke your trust, this person that you're moving on from, you may be in your head about it, thinking about it. You know that saying, um, when you let someone live in your head rent free? You know, when you're just going over the stuff, the arguments you had, the stuff that pisses you off, or even the good times. If you're wanting to let something go, you need to let it go. Okay, don't spend your time on ridiculousness. Spend your time on someone who's worth it, right? And like I mentioned, I really felt like this was someone who was not worth your time, someone who didn't treat you right, and now you're calling in someone who will. So, have a good month, Taurus. If you want more readings, I'm going to be posting more readings on Patreon, so please go there, as well as the videos that don't make it on YT. Okay, thank you Taurus, have a great month. <clears throat> Spirit, please tell me about Gemini for the month of April. Gemini for the month of April, please. Magician. Okay, so you are creating something here, Gemini. What is it? Ah, oh, no. I don't think so. Okay, an investment. We have here some uh, nightmares, some fear, some inner turmoil going on in the headspace. Okay. This is uh, anxiety, nervousness. You're, you're wanting to create something, you're manifesting something, but it seems like you're fearful about this thing. And so uh, what you really need to do is just invest your time in it and have faith in this thing if this is what you want. And let me tell you, please, Gemini, you do a lot of thinking anyways. You know, you need constant stimulation intellectually. So what I would say to you is, if someone is making you nervous, anxious, uh, feel like you're walking on eggshells or you're in fear of something for some reason, I don't think that's really the thing you should be investing in. Maybe you should just be investing in yourself, investing your money, working on you this month. You are creating something and it seems like you are invested in that thing. But for some reason there's this fear here. Um, or you could have sleepless nights, you could have insomnia because you're worried about something, okay? But in the end, we do have victory for you here. Six of Wands is victory and success. So the more effort you put in, if you can get over this hump of anxiety or stress or fear, whatever this negative thing is in your head, you are creating something good. So what I always say is, if you are manifesting right now, it is so important that you get out of that negative space or you're going to create that, okay? You don't want to create that. 
So it's so important that you face this fear, you face this thing that causes anxiety or whatever, and just put in the effort that's needed to make this work, whatever this is that you're working on, because uh, for a lot of you, it could be money, it could be a career move. Um, but if it keeps you up at night, you could end up manifesting the wrong thing. So you want to make sure subconsciously your head is in the right place. So watch your thoughts, watch the things that you say to yourself, watch the things that you judge about yourself and others um, and about this thing that you're working on. You don't want to build resistance towards something that could end up really good, it seems. You're very close to achieving your goal. Isn't that a pretty picture? Can you see? I never know if you guys can see. Um, so for some of you, this is a relationship. And it could end up really good. Like marriage type thing. If the investment is there, it has to be both people obviously invested equally. Okay, and I don't know why you're so worried about this thing. Because um, it seems like you want it. You're trying to manifest it, but you're scared or something. The main thing is you need to really work hard at this thing. Put a lot of effort in. And you will have success. Don't give up. You're very close to achieving your goal. Tell me about Gemini, please. Tell me about Gemini. about Gemini for the month of April. Nightlife, gamble, take a risk, Vegas. Some of you might be traveling, might be taking a quick trip to Vegas or Tampa, you know, if you're in Orlando area. Nightlife, and we have racing, running or avoiding. So some of you may be avoiding this thing this thing that's stressing you out, makes you nervous, keeps you up at night. Uh, don't avoid it, definitely. Nightlife may be a good thing if you're starting to get out more. Don't avoid this thing. You really have to face this anxiety or fear. Tell me about Gemini for the month of April. This is a Rebel deck. Okay, some good shit is about to happen. Okay, and we already got you very close to achieving your goal. And we have success here. So, some good shit is about to happen. So don't let your issues F it up. Alright? That's what it says. Not me, that's a rebel deck. You know? Okay? And also, you are loved. You are loved and you're here for a reason. So don't F it up. You got two cards that said don't F it up. So what does that tell you? Don't be anxious and nervous and all in your head. Because that's when you start messing stuff up. Okay, Jim and I hope you have a great month. If you want more readings, you can go on Patreon. I also post other videos on there that won't make it on YT. So if you're interested in that, becoming a patron and getting more readings, um, you can search for my name on there or you can look in the description box. There might be a link in there. Thank you, Gemini. Let's jump to Cancer. Cancer, please. For the Thank you. We got the Hermit. Okay, hermit mode. This could be a Virgo you're dealing with, or it could just be you isolating yourself, trying to figure something out here. King of Pentacles, your money. Seems like you're trying to figure out your money, and I think it's going to pay off. So you may just be focused on you, focused on work, focusing on higher knowledge, maybe getting some extra training, uh, or focus on uh, more on your skill set to improve, to make more money. King of Pentacles is very grounded. Uh, generous with others as well um, and stable and secure so it seems like by you going within you taking time on yourself focus on yourself and your work that's really gonna allow you to feel more stable and secure 
Tell me more about Cancer, the lovers. This could be Gemini energy or uh, this could come down to you making a big choice this month. Okay. Um, the lovers could be lovers, could be a soulmate energy. If this is not you, uh, this could be somebody that you're dealing with, which would be Gemini, Virgo, or King of Pentacles is Virgo. Um, it could be Taurus or Capricorn as well, but King of Pentacles. And the hermit. So that's a lot of really grounded energy, you know, and and it's about moving up. And then we have the lovers. So this could be surrounding, uh, or you trying to make a decision between a career and a person, you know, like maybe you need to spend more time in your career and tell that person wait a little bit, or maybe you're trying to decide if you should be with this person because your job interferes, something like that. Okay, if not, if you're not having to choose between two people. Or work in a person this could just be about uh, meeting somebody okay meeting someone or being with someone or finding love a lot of love and passion towards the end of this month with somebody could be a Virgo could be a Capricorn let's get a moon card for cancer about cancer for the month of April please so what I feel like to uh, what I feel like saying to you cancer and this isn't going to be for everybody but it's like you're focused on your money right now but you also have love and so it's like you're trying to figure out if it's worth it because right now your focus is more on money and becoming stable and secure. And like it's good to have someone there, you know, if it's real. Um, what if it's just up in the air type thing? That would make more sense as to why you can't decide or why something's just hanging here in the balance. But the lovers could be a soulmate energy. I mean, this could really be a strong sense of feeling in love towards the end of this month. You may feel more in love with this person um, or you may just feel more strongly about the choice that you're making towards the end of this month a new start is coming a new start for you and it's a new moon card so something brand new is coming in for you and this could be the lovers okay you may meet somebody new this month or you may have a new idea of what this could be with someone that you've already been with Okay, someone you've been with for a while may turn into something brand new by the end of this month. And I feel like that comes with your own security, whether it's financial or just emotional within yourself. Because it seems like to me this is what you're working through this month, is finding that sense of security within yourself. Tell me about cancer this month. Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer for the month of April. Cancer. Okay. Divine. Feminine. Okay. If you're a female, you could be tapping into your feminine energy. If you're a male, you could be tapping into your feminine energy. Just, just being more emotionally open, more nurturing, more sensitive, more compassionate towards others, more understanding. Okay, um, more spiritual even. Then we have Archangel Michael, protection. So we have protection, prevented from harm, and also divine intervention. So if you need help this month, call on Archangel Michael. Okay, it seems like you're doing some growing this month, spiritually. We also have tragedy and forbidden love. So it may be that someone new does come in towards the end of this month. Um and you're already with someone you know what i mean um so you just want to be careful that you don't hurt anybody sometimes it's inevitable but if something happens and you feel the need to go elsewhere just 
just let that person know. Don't drag it on. Don't hurt anybody um, too much, you know. But you could meet a really strong divine feminine this month, um, and it is divine intervention. Okay, it's possible that your angels are coming in to give you a message this month that is going to pluck you out of where you are and put you where you're supposed to be. Or prevent you from moving forward with someone else that you're not meant to be with. Okay? Let's get a Rebel Deck card. Tell me about Cancer. Cancer for April. Cancer, please, for the month of April. I'll never know which one it was. <laughs> Tell me, Spirit. Tell me about Cancer. For the month of April, please. Cancer for the month of April, please. You are a tight ass. Loosen the F up. Control freaks don't get laid. Okay? That might be you, or that might be someone you're dealing with. Okay? I'm just saying. You got some Virgo energy happening here. Virgos are cool. You know what I mean. Kind of controlling, though. Okay, detox. Drink a smoothie, unfriend that a-hole, and throw some shit out. So detox your life, declutter your life, okay? Do something that makes you feel good. Clean out your house, throw away some stuff, donate it, get a fresh haircut. You know, start a new uh, apple cider vinegar morning trend. Or a new smoothie in the morning thing or intermittent fasting, or walk around the block in the morning, or whatever you need to do that gets you going, detox, you make you feel fresh and new, because you got a new beginning coming this month, okay? Don't waste it. Thank you. If you want more readings, you can go to Patreon, and also the videos that I post, the more spiritual and awakening type of videos as well as current event videos are there on Patreon. Thank you, let's go to Leo. Leo, please, spirit. Oh, look who it is. Strength card. That's you, Leo. Strength. This is having faith. This is feeling um, good about yourself, confident, trusting the universe, the... Uh, situation, the relationship that you're in. Let's see about this. Tell me about Leo for the month of April. Tell me about Leo, please. about Leo for the month of April. Okay, we've got some heartbreak here. So, this could be bad news. This could be love. Uh, or just pain. This could also be for some uh, surgery or hospitalization. Injury, that type of thing. Um, but it seems like you're really having this inner strength here. Working on trusting, working on being more open and then here comes this heartbreak. What else for Leo please? Tell me more about Leo for this month of April. Death. Okay, so this is an ending. This is Scorpio. Death is an ending in order to have a new beginning. So for some of you, 
It seems like something um, tragic will happen this month. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. But with the ending always comes a new beginning. So this could be a literal death around you in the family, friends. And that is what uh, causes this ending and this heartache. Okay, um, but you're really going to have to focus and trust on your inner strength and trust in the universe, trust in God, and have faith that everything is going to work out. For some of you, this is a relationship that is ending, and that's uh, heavy on the heart. Okay, I'm sorry. You may just get bad news, you know. It may just be painful, bad news. It could be anything, really. Something that hurts your feelings, hurts your heart, and that's really painful to go through, and it, it's an ending of some kind. But luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Some of you may have Sagittarius in your chart. You may be dealing with Sagittarius. But luck is on your side. So even when your heart is breaking or something painful happens, God is still favoring you, if that makes sense. You still have some luck there. And you still have that inner strength because Leo is the center, you know, center of the world. Leo is the sun, so the center of the universe, actually. Okay, journal. You may find it beneficial this month to write. Write a book, write in your journal, write in your diary, or keep notes. Okay, take it how it resonates. Some people, when they lose a loved one, they, they want to sit down like a grandmother or something. You want to sit down and write all the little quotes and funny things that they used to say. So 20 years from now, whatever, you can look back at it and you won't forget those things. I know I'm being really sentimental, but you know what I mean. Or sometimes you need to keep notes uh, if you had a really bad breakup and or a divorce and it's going to end up going legal. You need to write some stuff down so you have it documented, okay? I'm just saying, there's many ways this can go. Journaling always helps though, get those emotions out. If your heart is broken, writing down how you feel and your wants and your feelings. It's good for the soul. Tell me about Leo. Oh my. <sighs> Fuck. Shit is about to get real. And then it says, Fuck. You need your people around you. It's not me. I don't have foul language. It's the rebel deck. Okay? And this card says, Winning. You got a good thing going, so don't ruin that ish. So take this how it resonates. If it's a breakup, it could be because of your pride. You know, we got this lion here. Lions are known for the pride, right? Leos are known for having a lot of pride. So that inner strength is good, that confidence is good, but sometimes, sometimes it gets in the way of relationships. So if you're feeling good, watch what you say and what you do because you don't want to ruin a good thing. Also remember luck is on your side. Despite everything else, there is an ending and a new beginning. So this could end up being a really positive reading. Um, this could just be you getting over a heartache that's from before and letting it die, finally letting it die and you going through a transformation, transitioning to a new phase, starting a brand new beginning and luck is on your side. Okay. Make sure you keep your people around you. Stay close with your friends at this time. And journal if you need to. Write stuff down. That will make you feel better. Thank you, Leo. Let's go to Virgo. A Virgo, please. Mm. 
Virgo for the month of April, please, Spirit. Tell me about Virgo for the month of April. What can Virgo expect this month? We got one. Eight of Cups in reverse. This is not wanting to walk away from something. It's like, for some of you, it's not being able to travel. I'm just getting that for some reason off this card. It's like you want to leave, but you can't. Also, we have the Hierophant. This is a commitment or a marriage. For some of you, you're married and you want to walk away, um, but you're not. It's like, even if something's over and you feel like it's over, you're not gonna let it go. You're gonna stay and work it out. That's what it feels like. Um, and sometimes that's a bad thing because sometimes it really is over and you're supposed to be letting it go and moving on and you're not letting it end. Um, we have the, the Hierophant, so that is a, sometimes marriage. Sometimes it's higher learning or wanting to um, go back over something, study into something. Higher knowledge uh, in the sense of traditional or religious. Some of you may be sticking around somewhere you really don't want to be because you took a vow or because, let's say, you're a very traditional um, religious person and you believe in the vow of marriage and you don't, you don't necessarily want to be here, you know that it's probably better for you to move on, but uh, this commitment is keeping you here. So much. Yeah, I feel like this is love for you, Virgo. And we have the Seven of Wands here. This isn't going to resonate for everyone. I just saw the Lover's card, though, on the bottom. So it's possible that at one time you felt this was your soulmate. It could still be your soulmate. You're not letting this go. It may not be emotionally fulfilling for you anymore, but you are committed to this thing and you're going to fight for it. This card is about uh, like protecting something or defending yourself. You may be defending um, this relationship to others or to yourself, telling yourself it's worth it, I made a vow, la la la, I gotta commit, that sort of thing. Um, and you trying to protect what's there. Although you may not emotionally really want to be there. Let's see. This could also just be the principle of the thing. Like it could be work, you know. It could be a relationship, like a friendship. Where you really want to end the friendship or you really want to leave your job. But you made a commitment. And it's the principle of the thing. So you're going to stand and defend yourself. Or stand up for what's right type thing. Or stand there and make it work. Tell me about Virgo for the month of April. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. So fellow earth sign to you Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle. So for now you're not letting it end. You're gonna keep working on this. It's possible that the cycle ends not necessarily the situation, um, but that things just start getting better because you chose to stick it out, okay? Or you could end completely and you're just fighting for something that really needs to end. Only you know, because this is just a general reading. So take it how it resonates, Virgo. Tell me about Virgo for the month of April, please. Tell me about Virgo for the month of April. Drama queen, poison, waves of emotions coming and going. So you may be really just talking yourself into it, talking yourself out of it, talking yourself into it, and emotionally you can't find rest, you can't find uh, a balance. We have poison, toxic, unhealthy people or behaviors, and we have drama queen, thirsty and causing chaos. So this may be you or this could be the person you're around. It could be that this person or this situation, this job, whatever, uh, is very negative and negatively influences your life. 
uh, makes you feel yuck, toxic, unhealthy. Um, this person may just be a drama queen and want attention, you know, and just gossip or cause drama, cause chaos, and that's not a good place to be. Um, this could also be you or this person because we have the Seven of Wands here. It makes me feel like that uh, that would be the negative side of Seven of Wands where you're really fighting for something in a way that it really gets really negative. You know what I mean? Where it's like you're just hurt or they're just hurt. So they'll say harsh things and they'll say and do things that hurt you when really they, they just want to be with you, you know, but they know it's ending. That sort of feeling. Um, but it could be the same in a work situation. You know, you could have co-workers who gossip or start stuff with you or prevent you from moving up or whatever. Let's just take it out, resonate. Let's get some Rebel Deck cards for Virgo for the month of April. What advice? You are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it. Okay. I don't know if you can read that or not, but don't give away your power to this person. I feel like you know what you need to do, but you're doing the opposite. It's like, man, I really want to let this go, but I can't. So I'm just going to stay because I committed to this thing and I'm just going to try to work this thing out. And it's like you're putting an effort, but this thing might just be not good for you. Okay, don't give your power away to something that you're not meant to have in your life. And don't try to hold on to something that you're not meant to have in your life. Okay, Virgo, hope you have a great month. If you want more card readings, I'll be doing more readings on there, the love and uh, finance and full moon end of the month reading on Patreon. Okay, and there's also other videos I'll be posting on Patreon as far as current events and uh, conspiracy awakening type videos on Patreon. Okay, thank you. Let's jump to Libra. Libra, please. Tell me about Libra for the month of April. Okay, the Hermit. This is Virgo energy. The Hermit is going within, focusing on the self, isolation, and then we have victory, okay? So, Six of Wands is working towards something, um, being victorious and successful at something. This could be a wedding, this could be a homecoming celebration, public recognition, um, getting the credit you deserve type thing, um, and it's only because you did some higher learning, you went went with them for some wisdom, um, you isolated yourself to really focus in on this thing. And then you get this wish come true, wish fulfillment by the end of this month. Things look really good for you. Didn't you guys got a lot of good cards last time? The wish fulfillment and success and just really good cards. So this wish fulfillment, it's like it's not tangible yet. It's almost like saying a prayer or making a wish. Um, and I, it looks like you're going to get it. You guys are lucky right now, Libra. The last two readings have been really good. Let's see what else Spirit has to say for the month of April for the sign of Libra. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Okay, so new changes, things coming together, conclusions to situations, right around the corner here. So this success, uh, this wish fulfillment, seems like it's coming up for you this month. And it's because of your focus uh, and taking the time that you needed. Children, this could have to do with kids. You may have kids, this could be somebody else's kids, like if you're a teacher or something. It says young, childhood, playful. You may just be feeling more like a child, having more fun, trying to have more fun in your relationship or at work. Um, or you may be thinking back to 
into your childhood at this time. Give me a Rebel Dead card for Libra, please. This is incredible. This is the third sign that got this. Virgo just got this. You are giving away your power. You are a badass. Act like it. Okay, so don't allow anyone to make you feel powerless. Don't allow anyone to walk all over you, step on you. You know what I mean? Act like the badass that you are. You got good things coming for you. Make sure you stay in that pi 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 positive mindset this month. And that will help for that wish to come in. The success and victory you deserve. All right, thanks Libra. Let's jump to Scorpio, please. Thank you. Page of Wands. Adventure. Yeah. Mm. Alright, we'll take them. Seems like you want more passion. More spice. More chemistry. More sex, possibly. Something new. Something creative. And you're on the lookout. You're searching for it. Page of Wands. Looking for some new adventure. Queen of Cups. This could be you. Um, just feeling in, in your energy. Emotional. Open. Heart open. Compassionate. And nurturing. We also have Three of Swords here, which is pain. Some sort of suffering or heartache. And then we have the World card. So, it seems to me like... You're getting over some sort of heartbreak or a heartbreak happens for you this month. It doesn't necessarily have to be in a relationship. It's just something that causes pain or suffering. It could also be surgery or an injury that happens this month. Okay, so just be careful. Um, and the world card is about closure. It's about letting go of an old cycle and starting a new one. Queen of Cups is really focused on the emotional fulfillment of a situation. But you also want the fun aspects of it too. The adventure, the chemistry, the newness. Um, Page of Wands represents fire, so that's also very, very action oriented. You know, kind of like fast wanting to get stuff done. And it's from an emotional standpoint, you want to feel good. So maybe because you recognize all of this, a heartache comes in. Okay, maybe you're letting something go, someone go, and you're finally getting closure, and this brings in the world. So this really means you could have anything that you want. When you let that go, that cycle closes and a new one can begin. What else for Scorpio for the month of April? Tell me about Scorpio for the month of April. Scorpio, where are you? Scorpio, where are you? Believe in the impossible. So this is like... You know when people break up? Or you're thinking about breaking up? This could be a job, just re related how it fits, okay? But it's like, people say like, no one will ever love you like I did, that sort of thing. So it's like, well, we have this really great chemistry, but emotionally, we have no connection. You know, like the sex is great, and there's passion there, but emotionally, we can't talk about anything. I don't think this person actually loves me. We just have fun together, type thing. So it's like having one, not the other. So, I think what Spirit is saying, believe in the impossible, that even through heartache, even if you have to leave this situation behind, something new is coming in. You can have it all. You can have both. You can have emotionally fulfilling 
and really passionate and have a great chemistry and have that fire okay so don't settle you have to believe in what you perceive to be the impossible we have lockdown mental prison confined that's silly given the times we're in so some of you may feel imprisoned imprisoned in a prison mentally okay or confined and we also have commitment long-term relationship so this is yeah I'm really still feeling this feeling like this is a relationship okay it could be an ex or someone that you still talk to or it's someone that your spirit is wanting you to move on and it's going to be painful but once you get over that pain things get really great because right now you feel stuck uh, locked imprisoned by this commitment or a long-term relationship or marriage or whatever this is for you you may feel committed because of a child or family obligation or financial obligation or marriage vows type thing and you're thinking I'll just work it out with this person even though I feel so mentally conflicted because you think you won't get everything you deserve somewhere else so it's like settling for half a relationship when you really don't want to be there just because you made a commitment perhaps when there's something forcing you feeling trapped into a commitment let's get some rebel deck cards for Scorpio for the month of April please spirit make better effing choices if you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. I couldn't have said it better myself. If you're upset about where you are, get out of there. If you stop and think about it and you're upset about who you're with or where you work, get out of there. Okay? You only get this one life. Not really, but you only get this one life in this one life, right? So, you don't want to waste this life and be unhappy. You should try to be as happy as you can right now. Make better choices for you. And believe in the impossible because you can have everything. Alright, Scorpio. Have a great month. If you want more readings, I'll be posting more readings. Uh, love and Finance and a Full Moon reading. As well as the other videos that... I'll be making that, uh, I won't make it here on YT, okay, for censorship reasons. You can go on Patreon or uh, for the tarot, or if you just want to check out those other videos, you could go to BitChute as well, and just search my name, or I'll try to put a link in the description box. Thank you. Tell me about Sagittarius Spirit for the month of April. Sagittarius, please. Knight of Swords. Quick, quick action, okay? Moving quickly towards something. Or some kind of news comes in and it makes stuff happen really quickly. Okay, or it's like someone comes and tells you like, hey, uh, there's this opening at my job and it pays really good and you gotta apply right now. You know, that sort of thing. It's like, oh, I gotta get things moving, I got all these steps I gotta take, I gotta do all this stuff, and you gotta go quick, okay? Or something swoops in, someone comes in, something happens very quickly now. We also have Six of Pentacles, which is about equal give and take. This is also a card meaning uh, balance with money, balance with effort. So you get back what you put in, okay? And this is this is an equal situation. Um, this could also have something to do with Libra. There's a scales on this card. And the scales represents Libra. It just represents balance. Equal give and take. And uh, sometimes this card can mean you're doing so well financially that you have enough to give back. Like charity, giving gifts to others, that sort of thing. You're feeling very generous. So it does seem like out of nowhere you may get some money you weren't expecting or 
um, abundance starts flowing to you by you maybe starting new business or getting a new idea, taking action, and things start looking really good for you. And we have temperance, like always, Sagittarius card, waiting, right? Temperance is waiting, it's having faith, it's trusting in God, it's trusting in your guides and your angels. Um, and it's, it's tempering the waters. So in the card, the angel, Archangel Michael, has two cups and he's it's like alchemy okay what do you have to tweak what do you have to what do you have to fix and work on in yourself that's going to make all of this work better and be more equal and be quicker for you what things can you do now that will help you in the future thank you spirit tell me more about Sagittarius for the month of April so you may have to have patience Okay, at the end of this month, you may feel like you're waiting around on something, or Spirit is saying, like, the best is yet to come. So, definitely move towards this thing and put in as a lot of effort so you can get a lot of abundance in return. A time to give rather than take. Yeah, I heard that. That's this card, like I was saying, when you have enough to, that you can give back, charity, volunteer work um, in the community, giving to a church, giving back money, um, cooking for the homeless, that sort of thing. Okay, so think about how you can help others in your life, how you can give back to others and those that have helped you. It's like return the favor time, I think. So I think you'll understand those opportunities as they come to you. Um, a friend may come to you in need, you know, out of the blue, and ask you for a favor. And you will be rewarded for those actions, okay? Not saying that's why you should do it, but I'm just saying, I think Spirit is saying, be there for others during this time, and things look really good for you as well when you do that. Tell me about Sagittarius for the month of April, please wish make a wish maybe you're already making a wish having hope praying yearning for something so temperance can also be prayer temperance can be praying hoping having faith right trying to trust in in all that is and what's coming to you so you may have been Praying a lot more, having a dedicated prayer time, that sort of thing. You are going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Okay, so Sagittarius, this has been you guys for the last probably year at least. The South Node is in your sign makes things a little bit harder for Sagittarius, right? No travel, all these idealistic views, trying to search for truth in the century of misinformation. So, you all are going through some tough times. Okay, but you gotta deal with it. You gotta handle it now. Sometimes Sagittarius has an, has an issue with making excuses or playing the victim or blaming others. Not all Sagittarius, more probably more the immature, um, less evolved Sagittarius. But I believe you will handle this. I believe you have this prayer you've been wishing for and you're going to get it. And think about this month how you can give back to others, okay? That will be your duty this month, and things look really good for you. Otherwise, you're going to be getting messages from your spirit guides and God, and things are going to be equal give and take, and there's going to be balance, and it's going to be happening quickly. So, I hope you have a great month. Let's do a quick collective reading. Spirit, tell me about the collective for the month of April. What can the collective expect for the month of April? Leo, inner strength, trusting in the universe. Okay. Death. 
This could be literal death or this could just be transformation as a collective. Deciding to head in a new direction, start over. Some fear, there's still some fear in the collective, obviously, some anxiety. We need to listen to our judgment here. Judgment of God, the judgment of our higher selves, the judgment of truth. What we need to fix, how we can move forward right now. The only way to do this is by pausing, reflecting on the past and on the future that we want, deciding how to move forward from that. Moving out of insecurity, self-worth issues, control issues. Stop trying to tell everybody else what to do and how to live. And just move forward. Transition into a new place. Move forward as a collective. And transition into better waters. Okay, and this is going to have to be done collectively because we're still split. The, the numbers are growing, okay, the, the other way. I think more... People are waking up now than ever. So let's do a moon card for the collective for the month of April, please. So we're going to need to rely on our inner strength, our confidence and trust in God and the universe, um, and be ready for death. When it comes to physical death, um, losing loved ones, but also the death of the ego, letting pride go letting things go uh, within ourselves and belief systems that maybe aren't true at all. We just clung to them for a really long time and we have a lot of issues with that in our culture and in our world where we end up hating others for really no reason. Um, and we need to be willing to let this stuff go and then deal with the fear. Why do we have this fear? Okay, and this anxiety, not to mention the fear surrounding, you know, getting sick and stuff like that. We need to fight for truth. And we really need to think about where we're going to go from here. Reflecting on our own actions as well. And try to look at it from another person's perspective. Try to find the fairness in it all and let go of the need to control the outcome and control everybody else. And just fight for freedom and truth. And I think we can move in that new direction and really transition to a better place. Believe in the impossible. Believe in the impossible, collective, with a blue moon. I really like that reading. Let's get a Rebel Deck card for the collective. Tell me about the collective for the month of April. I think we're going to start to see some things turning around this month. I think we're going to have to listen to our inner knowing and our inner discernment and judgment. Really facing our fears and allowing those things to die. Those fears and those anxieties. You do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. Isn't that true? And that's what I felt like here with this need to control people. You know, and tell people what to do and how to live. Just focus on you, and as long as you're free and you know the truth, other people can live their lives however they want to, as long as we're all free to make that choice, right? That's the main thing. So don't try to change people, because that never works. Uh, we just need to have some sort of common understanding of truth and freedom, and have a balance, and other than that, live your life however you want to. You know? You do you. Believe in the impossible. Okay? I love it. I love you guys. Happy to be here on this earth with you at this time. I hope you have a great month. Please subscribe. Please check out the Bit Shoot and Patreon if you want to see more stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.